Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to talk about break building. Break building is everything in this game. Yeah, okay, you need some long shots, you need some safety play, but if you don't have break building, you don't have anything in this game. If you want to win frames, you have to make big breaks. You have to make them points. So, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about what is it to be thinking few shots ahead and what should be in your head when you're thinking few shots ahead? So we have six threads here, quite open. First of all, you have to scan the table and to see which of them six threads is good to be removed first. And here I can quickly see that this one, this one and this one are, are both which you have to get rid of as quickly as you can so you open, open things. So this red is blocking the pink there and also this red is blocking the high black. Like you, when you play for high black, you want this area clean for the cue ball. So it's good to get rid of this red. This one is also blocking the position for the pink to there. If you have the, the pocket open, you're blocking the position for the pink to there. And the other red is this one because you want this area clean for the black. Okay. So now I'm on this red and I'm thinking, okay, this red should be next. I want this area clean. This red should be next. And what angle should I leave on the black to be easy to get on this red? Well, in that case, I should not go for low black because usually that's not very good. So I'm going to have high black. So the decision is made. I'm play for high black and then from the high black, one cushion, I'm going to play for this red. Okay, now I have high black. And then I'm thinking, what should be the angle on this red to be good on color. If I leave myself low on this red, here, then I cannot get back for the black. The pink is blocked and I have to go for the blue. And if I finish from the wrong side of the blue, break is over because I have to go around the bulk. And in many times, when you have to go in and out of bulk, you lose position. So I'm thinking I have to be at least straight on this red. The cue ball should be about there. If I overheat that shot from the black and the cue ball travels a bit more, if I hit the pink, then I'll be on this and this one. So I'm really concentrating here not to be low on this red. Okay, so now I'm I'm good on the red and now you have to start thinking which red is next. <clears throat> so as I said, it's good to open the pocket for the pink. Okay. Now I'm thinking how to get on this red. What angle should I leave myself on the black to get easy on this red? Well, in that case, because I'm perfect on the red, it's going to be very easy to get on low black and from low black it's very easy to come here for this red. So the decision is made. I know what angle should I have on the black. Low on the black and now it's easy to get on this red. Now, thinking of few shots ahead, in my mind is what angle should I leave on this red to get on the pink? Now it's the pink because the next three reds are in that area. I'm not going to, going to play with the black anymore. So perfect is to leave myself a bit low on this red. If I'm here on this red, then I can easily come one cushion here for the pink. Okay, that's a bit too low on this red. 
but it's still okay. So I might just drop it in and come for the pink, which is a bit risky, but I'm not too bad on these shots. Just a bit of side. You just drop it in. And then you're perfect on the pink. And now from the pink, I'm thinking, okay, it's good to get rid of this one. Now I come and check where should I leave my white for this red. And it's good, it's good to be about there because from here then I can play one cushion and to come back for the pink. Now it's easy <clears throat> because you're building up your break with angles. And now it's very good because the next red, I have to be low on the pink. And when I finish low on the pink, it's going to be easy to come for this red. If I finish high on the pink, let's say here, then it's not going to be so easy to come for this red. And this is how you're building up the angles. You know, perfect on the pink. And so on and so on. Video is going to become too long if I, if I play until I clear the table. But this is how you build up the, the break. You always think a few shots ahead. So now from the pink, I have very easy shot from one cushion and to come here for the reds. Here I have two reds, many options. In that case, you should not be overthink what angle you should have on the red and so on, so on. So many angles are gonna give you good position. If I'm straight on this red, then I just screw back for the pink. If I'm a bit high, let's say here, I'll just drop it in, come back for the low pink. From the pink, I'll come here. And now I'm thinking this red is gonna be uh, better to be the second red because from this red, you can come for the blue and from the blue is very easy to go for the yellow. So remember that every time when you play, you should be thinking what angle should I have on the next ball to be easy to go for the ball after. So let's play the pink here now. It's gonna be just one cushion. Come for the reds. Here, yes, perfect, perfect on this red. I'm not gonna play now this red to go for the blue and then to come back here. I don't want, I don't want this. I'll play this one, I'll just drop it in, I'll come like there, and then I'll play the pink, low pink here to get on the last red. And now you're thinking, what should be the angle on this red to be easy to go on the blue? So I don't want to be this side of the red because if I'm here, then I'll have to get back to the pink or black. And then it's not easy from pink and black to go for the yellow. So now I'm thinking even more shots ahead. So it is, it's also what color you're gonna use from this red to get on the yellow. So you're thinking about the yellow even now. So if I'm straight or this side of the red is good because if I'm, if I'm straight, I'm going to come for the blue. If I'm this side, then I'm going to, to go for the bulk colors and from bulk color is very easy to get on the yellow. almost straight, which is good, and I can get to the blue. Or now, the angle is a bit too big, 
to get on the right side of the blue. So I'll just turn the white and I'll come here. Now I'm playing for an area because I have three colors. And if I, I can finish like perfect on the green is the best. But if you don't have the green, let's say I finish here, I can use the yellow. If I overheat, you can also use the brown as well. So here, perfect on the green, and then from the green, you can just screw back yellow and then to clear the table. So maybe in some of my next videos, I'm going to show you how to clear the colors. But now this video becomes too long. Thank you very much for watching. And remember that you should be thinking few shots ahead. You should be thinking about the angles to make nice big breaks. Thank you very much for watching.